it's a Sunday afternoon and it's a bit chilly in the UK, hence why I've got my lovely black Sabbath warm jumper on. But today is going to be a little bit more chilled than what I usually listen to on this channel. And that's because I recently stumbled upon this artist whilst watching the Jules Holland Hootenanny New Year's program. When I saw her track, which was from a debut album called Candyman, I was taken aback. I thought, wow, this kid is special. So today we're going to listen to her cover of When the Levy Breaks from Maureen Bradley. On her YouTube channel, which you need to subscribe to, of course, it says that she is a 17-year-old country blues, ragtime, folk blues and roots finger-picking guitar player and singer from County Donegal, Ireland. When you think of When the Levy Breaks, your mind automatically transports to that iconic drum beat from John Bonham and slide guitar from Jimmy Page. However, this cover from Maureen is a closer representation of the original from Memphis Millie and Joe McCoy, released in 1929. So it's proper old school blues stuff. The guitar playing and finger picking style within this, she has said, is inspired by a guitarist named Airy Einsinger, who I knew nothing about prior to this recording. I did a little bit of research. There's not a lot of information information on him out there but he was a tutor released a few recordings I think he did lectures and stuff like that as well but he's a great guitarist definitely worth watching if you haven't heard of him before as well she looks so cute <laughs> challenge you to close your eyes and listen to this track uninterrupted and not be amazed. She is 17 years old. She's probably younger when this video was made. Her vocal style and guitar playing is beyond her years. It's so mature. It's almost like a guitar symphony or orchestra. Her vibrato is gorgeous and she's throwing in all of these lovely bluesy licks and fills here and there all whilst maintaining that steady rhythm bass note throughout. It is. It's rhythm, lead and vocals. She is like a, a literally a one man band. Oh, I love the it's almost like yodeling, isn't it? Like, oh, I mean, of course I can't do that. Oh, it's, like, it's, it's just got this maturity to her vocal. It sounds brilliant. I'm gonna skip it back a little bit and listen to it properly. Nobody to keep the water away. 
beautiful. If you're sitting around a campfire, especially in this chilly weather, this is the kind of musician you want in attendance. Not some Muppet butchering Stairway to Heaven, Wonderwall and playing Ed Sheeran songs. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Her left and right hands have been blessed by gods. Her rhythm and lead playing is faultless. I say faultless, bruv. Her vocal just melts you, doesn't it? It's the kind of sound that I want to listen to when I'm having a bath or relaxing, just trying to chill. It's so soothing. This girl is destined for big things and she has got one hell of a career ahead of her. I can't wait to listen to some more music and thankfully she released her debut album on December the 8th entitled I Kept These Old Blues. I'm definitely going to listen to it. I highly recommend you do. So go on the Spotify and follow her. Go on her YouTube, subscribe to her channel, watch all of her videos, like all of her videos. Come on guys, let's make her massive. It's also got me thinking that maybe I should do more blues reactions on this channel because I love stuff like Rory Gallagher, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Clapton, Buddy Guy, BB King, Robert Johnson. But perhaps I should educate myself a little bit more and really dig into the early stuff, the, the originators of blues. So if you've got any recommendations, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. But as always, I really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have making it. If you have done, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye for now, people.